So, I bet you guys think that you have me pretty well figured out. Well, guess what? You probably do. Scott's number one hero is totally gonna be... Britney Spears! Harry Potter! Britney! Ryan Reynolds. Well, maybe a little bit. Oh, Britney, you're so fine, you're so funny, you blow my mind. Hey, Britney! And while all of those are valid heroes to anyone, depending on who you are, they're just not for me, surprisingly. My hero, or my heroes, plural, I should say, are something a little more personal to me. And guess what? They are people just like you. People who aren't afraid to be themselves. People who speak their minds and have no doubt about it. Whether it's the right or the wrong thing, as long as you're yourself, it's amazing. You have no idea how many people are there in the world who get punished, penalized, made fun of for being or saying things that are just not understood. And people that keep on doing that without being scared of the repercussions, I mean, that is just heroic. I don't care who you are. I don't even care if I necessarily agree with what you have to say. But if you are yourself 100% of the time, you say what you want to say, you mean what you say, and you are your own person, that's incredible to me. There are often times where I'm scared to be myself. Or I'm in a certain situation where maybe I'll mute myself because I'm scared. I'm scared of what's going to happen if people see the real me. And then I look at some of my friends and some of you guys who just undoubtedly, unequivocally, can be themselves and enjoy it, love it, and not be scared of anything. And uh, to me, that's just incredible. I know it sounds stupid, maybe a little corny, um, but really, it's a very hard thing to do. And don't take yourself for granted, guys. It's amazing. You're amazing. And so, yes, while I may love this woman more than anyone you've ever met, chances are I probably love you more. You're my hero. Don't stop. And a quick change of tone. So, I have a huge announcement for you guys. Okay, maybe it's not that huge, but it is regarding next week's theme week, which involves you. That's right, you. And we're calling it Phone of Viewer Week. Monday through Friday next week, each of us gays of the week are going to be calling possibly you. And it's going to go a little something like this. Screw him. It would have gone something like that had Ryan James Yezik answered his phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's what you do, so you better pay attention. On any of our hero videos this week, leave comments and or video responses telling us why we should call you. And what would we talk about? Hmm? Would we have a lot of fun? So, you know, if you want to say, talk to me... You would go to the responses and comments right below this video. See? Me? And you would say, Hey Scott, I think you're really cool and you're super sexy and I want you to call me and I think we'd have a great fun time. Or say if you wanted to talk to Ryan on the phone, you would go to yesterday's video on Gays of the Week, go to his comments and video comments, and tell him why he should call you. And then... You need to do the following things. Message Gaze of the Week with your name, your phone number, include area code please, where you live, you know, what region you're in, and which Gay of the Week do you want to call you, and why. And it always, it can always be more than one. If you want all of us to call you, then put that. So, happy commenting and video responsing all of you crazy Gays of the Week viewers. And if you need a little refresher on the rules and directions, go to the info below this video or just rewind it a bit. I explained everything. Have a great rest of your week. Start gearing up for Phone of Viewer Week.